Hey, hey guys, it is Crystal Dragonfly here with another Kylie Koo's Junk Use It or Lose It series. And this week, she did it on storage. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth. Um, I have tons of storage that I use, and I'm going to show you, and then we're going to do a little fun one together, okay? I'm going to move you slowly... I go into the bowels. Alright, back here is, you can see I have a box, and it's actually a um, shoe box, and I took the top lid and cut little pieces in it, and I put my paint. These are my extra paints that I don't use a lot, and the nice thing is you can pick one out, right? And they just slide down, okay? So that's one way you can reuse a box. Just measure your width of them and put them in. Now this monstrosity over here is a use it or lose it paint holder. Okay, you guys know I have limited space. It's not that I don't, I have a big house. But I have to be downstairs where I can watch Bentley Boo constantly, constantly. Um, so, I kind of had my art room <laughs> is the dining room, too. So, I'm in this corner, and I try to figure out things to put paint in. And this I made. This is actually the parts of a wee box. My husband keeps boxes for any and every electronic thing. I don't know why. But anyways, I took it and took out, took the paints, right, and went around and put holes all the way around. Just went around my bottles, around, 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 and made the lines, and then I took an exacto knife and cut each individually hole out. Yes, it took me a while, I'm not gonna lie. You know how it's attached to my wall? Hot glue. And a few um, tacks, the big, big ones, to help give it a little more stability. The reason why I use hot glue is because hot glue on my wall can peel off without destroying anything, and it holds it really well. So, that is what I did. That is an easy way, guys, you can get, and it doesn't have to be wee boxes. One that will work really good is Pops, um, like the sleeves you get, like canned goods and stuff at the store. You could get one of those, double them up, and do it that way. Um... Or just a really thick one. I've had this up here now, uh, two months, I think. It hasn't fallen. I love it. I can be sitting at my desk, reach over, grab one, do it, put it back. So that is that. And it's got a little area on top. So there is another store storage idea using your boxes. I'm going to back up. And I'm going really slow because I get horribly motion sick when people move their cameras around. So... Alright, the next thing is using these. Um, I think I'm out. This is a Tropicana. Everybody gets these. Well, especially if you have kids and you buy this stuff. Hawaiian Punch comes in them. I mean, you can recycle them. Not the lids, but you can recycle them. But, and I do, because I can't ever use that many. But this is one thing I do. I kept it on here. And it hangs, okay, because I left the hanger on. And you see I put a hole in it, it's clean, and I keep all my lids. And then I, once this full, I go dump them in a box, I have it on my back porch. And what I'm going to do with these lids is I have an old garage shed outside. I'm going to cover them with the lids, making flowers and art on it. So, you can use it to, to hold things in, guys. This is a great hanging up if you got a garage, you guys got a lot of nails and this and that. Great storage way to use. I love this. If you wanted to spray paint it, you could not make it look all, um, all expensive and shit, but, pardon my French, but I don't. This is what I use it for. Alright, continuing on with the same thing here. You cut them off. I have, right here on my wall, you see I have, I'm kind of keeping you down because i got address and stuff. One, two, three. Let me move these. All right, I have three containers with them in. I did. I cut them in half, um, and I actually um, I tried gluing them together, but they out they they didn't sit right, so I they came undone. I actually um, screwed them onto my walls. They have been here for months, and they haven't came off. So this is a good way to add an extra 
if you don't have the room, you don't have a big desk with all kinds of areas, or your desk is small and you need your work area, these work awesome. And then I just took pieces of cardboard to put them in to create the sleeves. Let me show you. See? There's a sleeve. And this one's actually got a toilet paper roll in it to keep those because those permanent ones that are supposed to be permanent don't aren't permanent. So those are options for you. Other ways to use for storage ideas. Now, I'm not going to show you how to make all that because I don't need another one. But I wanted to share those with you for the storage ideas. So, now I'm going to get off, put you on the tripod, and I'm going to show you what we're going to make for this. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do is make a caddy, but a different way. I don't know my drink, I don't drink beer, but I tried this and I love it. The best damn root beer ever you've ever had. So, I know they have these type of things, I guess beer caddies, wine cooler caddies, whatnot. You can get them in four packs, I mean, and that's a caddy guys. Caddy, right? With a little bit of reinforcements, a little artsy fartsy fun. It can be amazing, okay? So I have, um, and I'm really needing something like this, which are, I, you know, I've, I've been keeping this to make something like this out of it. Um, is I have, um, this I got at the Dollar Tree, actually. I've had it for a while. And I'm going to just reinforce these corners because see how soft and gooey they are. It's a good cardboard. It's just what they need to be soft and covered. Okay, and then we're going to put my duct tape on there to get that little extra. And I did mark it because I want to cut this down because if I put this stuff in there, it's too low. So we're going to cut off some for, I don't know, my stuff fits better. So... I'm going to go, they're kind of perforated, so that makes it easier, and they all actually are, um, that I re recall seeing. So I'm just going to cut these off, and then cut them across, or bend them down, I haven't decided yet. And I will be back. Alright guys, this is how it's going to look. I'm not cutting it off, I'm going to leave that part, because I'm going to use it in the decoration. But how I did that is I took my ruler made the mark and then I'm going to take your my executive knife and do it and cut it down in there enough where it'll just fold over really really easy um because like I said I don't want it cut off I want it to fold so I just hit that so there you go now I'm not going to worry about the side because that's just extra enforcement. I could cut them off, but I don't see the point. I can reach my stuff like this. So now for decorating because I all right, guys. Now this is going to be my covering. I did have a drop sheet that I thought about using that was already decorated, but I'm gonna, I'm keeping that for a journal cover. So we have this piece of paper. It's not real thick. It came actually in my one of my Amazon orders I believe so you're probably gonna wonder what is she gonna do well right now I'm gonna put some color on we're gonna do some stamping some dabbing and dolping and everything else so we're gonna make a beautiful covering Big, medium, and small. They're just so much fun. I got this at Hobby Lobby. I think like two bucks, guys. It's really cheap, actually. My homemade stamps. I remember I'll try to put that video in the down bar um, if you're interested in making your own and you don't know um, you want to see how I did it give you some ideas um, 
another recycle type of project. <laughs> then some white and black because white and black make your colors pop. Stenciling, so that's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. I just love this stamp. I don't know. I just do. Guys, you could glue this. I'm using my good old double carpet tape. Like three bucks is big old roll. Get at your hardware store. Alright, so I'm going to do one side at a time. Um, start in the middle, so. I already got this side taped. So I'm going to. I'm going to kind of pull it on. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see me do this very well, but. Yeah. making journals and projects. I think it's a must for your craft and your for your craft uh, goodies. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna take it with my hand and just keep pull it up tight. Down on it. Okay, I'm gonna do this to all the sides, guys. I'm gonna try to show you how I did my end here. It's kind of like wrapping a package, kind of. You want to set it like this, and you put it in. You're gonna put it, and you want to get as much as you can in the middle, and then you're just gonna pull it up, okay? But for me, I'm going to put a piece of tape in the middle to help keep it, to help keep those stuck. have less. I know you guys can't see much right now and I'm sorry for that. Um, and I'll have less. Um, yeah, that. I can't even talk. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to bring it up. Let me, let me tell you, you roll it in because you don't want a lot, a lot, a lot of extra, okay? If you do, obviously it's not going to be perfect. I'm gonna put another piece down here. I mean, it don't matter to me if it's a little over because I will fix it. So cut off the top. Just gonna, I'm gonna put them down on here like this. Um, you can use glue or whatnot. And then I'm gonna put some tape. I'm gonna actually tape with clear tape just to seal those edges. I also glued this down. Okay. There is my caddy. I like it. I love this part. You know, I left that. I'm not, I mean, you could um, put some decorative paper, paper up there. You know, I have some left. I could easily fold over. I like the look of being able to tell what it's made out of. I think it's cool um, to see that little junk underneath that treasure. But I am going to write on the, which is why I kept that. Let me use my fine, my pen here. Make sure it's working. Alright guys, here it is. I did a little blinging on it. I'm going to do a little bit more, but it's going to have to dry and it's going to be a while. So I just wanted to show you this. Um, another fun way to make a caddy um, 
with a beer or um, drink carrier already there and I also showed you other ways in the in the beginning to sh do other things for storage guys when in doubt check your junk out happiness to you check out Kylie Coos who um, use it or lose it video series which is how, what I am doing now happiness to you guys blessings bye